Peace, y'all. Welcome back to Urban In After Hours with your host, Taryn Lewis. So I don't know what episode we're on at this point because I've just been going, but I believe we're on episode five at this point. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, the benefits of the soaps. I'm just going to be talking about the soaps in general, all the ones that we offer. I have them all sitting here in the front of me. Um, and I kind of have them grouped based off of like their similarities. Um, but to begin, I just want to let you know, I'm going to kind of be answering some questions that I frequently get about how to use the soaps. So that's where I'm going to start first and foremost. So the best way to use the soap, I need y'all to listen up. The best way to use the soap, you can use natural soap the same way you've been using soap all your life. You just use it in the shower, in the bath. That's all you got to do with it. You can wash your full body. You can wash your hair with natural soap. Us in particular, we make our soaps with coconut oil, palm oil, and shea butter. The beautiful thing about those three ingredients are that they are all natural. Not only that, but we only put essential oils if we're using any scent into our soaps. And essential oils, they can have their own issues for various skin types, especially sensitive skin. But for the most part, essential oils are gonna have benefits that are antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. So they're there to help you as well. But for the most part, you can use these soaps from the crack of your toes, to your hair follicles, okay? You can use this wherever, and it's not going to harm you. It's gonna be good soap that's good for your full body, and if you are a newborn baby, fresh out of the womb, even if you're on your deathbed, between those ages, you can use this soap, okay? All right, so now let's get into those benefits. I just had to put that out there for y'all. All right, so right here, I'm gonna start with some of my favorite soaps that we got right here. These are all of our different lavender varieties that we offer. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna talk about rosewater kefir and lavender. Um, we put rosewater kefir in here, which is a probiotic. So we like to recommend this as a yoni soap because it has that probiotic in there. And then not only that, but we put uh, lavender. I gotta take a look because it's been a minute and I gotta make sure I know what's in it. We use lavender, lemon, bergamot, and geranium in this soap as well. So it, it smells like roses, literally. It smells really good, smells like flowers, and it's a really good soap to use for your flowers if you're a lady as well. Um, and then we put some flowers on top of there. It's a nice, calming, relaxing soap. And then we also scent it with rose clay, which rose clay is a, any clay that we use or any clay that you come across is gonna be detoxing. It's good for drawing out impurities and it's also just good for detoxing the skin. All right, next up we got rosemary and lavender. I love this combination because it's like the herbal and floral combination. Um, rosemary essential oil is an antiviral and antibacterial essential oil. Um, lavender is scientifically proven to relax you, relax your mind, body, and soul. Um, and so that's why I love this one. So especially during the winter times or during this time when we're dealing with the virus, this is a really good soap to use because it has rosemary um, in it. So this is one that I love. And all of the lavender soaps, you can use them for relaxation. Um, we also have our South African lavender soap. And this one is just simple, clear cut. It just has lavender in it. Um, and one thing that I love about the lavender soaps, I like to use them particularly at night. So if you're dealing with high anxiety, dealing with high stress, you need to relax or you need something that's sensitive for your skin, I always recommend a lavender soap because lavender is just something that's kind of uh, world renowned. It's well known to just be a nice relaxing soap and it's good to use for even children as well. So next up, we have our unscented soaps here and I have about four of them. Uh, first up, I'll start off, this is one of my favorite soaps, oatmeal honey. Even though it doesn't have a scent, I love oatmeal honey because it's a classic combination of oats and honey. Literally, this is what I consider to be skin food for food for your skin um, because it's things that you can um, that you can eat internally as well. But then you can put them on your skin externally, and you still get really good benefits um, with the oatmeal honey. This is a good exfoliating soap, and it's really good for babies to be able to use as well. Next up, we have our Everything Bar. Um, this is another one of my favorites. Some of the unscented are truly some of my favorites just because of their performance in the shower. This is one of my favorites because of the lather. It's tip top. And then of course, it, uh, the thing about the Everything Bar is that it has uh, remnants of all of the soaps in it. So that's why it's called the Everything Soap Bar. And as you can see right on top of there, there's an activated charcoal on the top. 
Next up, we have chamomile and calendula, which you guys can't see it, but this is our baby soap. One of the questions that we get often is, what soaps do we recommend for babies? This is the soap right here. Chamomile and calendula is what we recommend based off of my research and anything that I've looked up that, um, as far as herbs that are very gentle to use for the skin, chamomile and calendula were the answer. So I made that into a soap. We also make it into a body butter and a body oil. It's that lit. So you can use this for newborns for sure. And if you don't want to use the soap with essential oils. Next up, we have our coconut and kaolin clay bar. Um, this one is our super simple bar. It's only made with coconut oil. Um, so if you just don't want to use something with a scent, you don't want to use something with a whole bunch of extra oils, it literally just has coconut oil in there and then we scent, um, we color it with white kaolin clay so it's also a detoxing bar as well. Um, so these are all of our unscented bars. Next up, I group all of these together. Um, really, these are the only two that have peppermint, but I also include these because the, the scents of these are medicinal. Um, so I just consider this whole little batch right here to be like a medicinal package. First up, we have vanilla mint coffee. Um, this is a really good bar because coffee is really good as an antioxidant. So it helps uh, with those who have mature or aging skin. You can use coffee um, in that manner. We also offer a coffee scrub, but this uh, soap is good for exfoliating. Um, so I love it and it smells like a peppermint bag. Next up, we have one of our most popular soaps, which is the activated charcoal soap. It has activated charcoal in it, which is really good for detoxing the skin. If you have oily skin, um, this is a really good soap for you to use because it helps to pull out deep, um, it helps to pull out toxins, and it also deep cleanses your pores as well. Um, and then it has peppermint essential oil, which is astringent too. Um, and so this is one of our popular soaps to use for the face. A lot of people like to use it for the face. You can use it for hair and full body. And then this is our second most popular soap for the face, which is going to be our tea tree and turmeric. This is our number one most popular soap. Um, this soap helps with hyperpigmentation because it has tea tree and turmeric in it. And both of those together help with inflammation. So this is a really good soap to use for your face if you deal with hyperpigmentation, acne skin, if you deal with rosacea. This is going to be your answer right here. And then this is just my go-to right here. I love tea tree and turmeric. Next up, we got neem and chlorella. I also consider this one to be skin food too because we use chlorella in it, which chlorella is what makes plants green. It's the pigment that makes plants green, also known as chlorophyll. And I put it into the soap and it is green. So this is like my plant soap. And then we also use lemon eucalyptus essential oil in it, which is really good for, um, it's very antiviral. It's one of the one of the top antiviral essential oils that you can use. So it helps with, res um, with your respiratory system, especially if you're using it in a steam shower, lemon eucalyptus. If you're feeling sick, coming down with a cold and the flu. I kid y'all not, one time I was coming down with the flu. I took a shower with this soap and the next morning I was feeling A1. I felt really, really good. I felt sick before I used it, used this one and did some other things, but I was good. I really think that this soap helped. Next up, I got, I consider these to be like the citrus soaps. This one is not a citrus soap, but I just always throw it in there and package it. But these other ones are more citrusy. We have the grapefruit and Himalayan pink salt soap. Um, every time I Every time I look at this soap, I remember the first time I made it and the first time I used it. When I first used it, I was on cloud nine and I was like, why do I feel so great? Like, I know I use, I use natural soap all the time. Like, why do I feel so good after using this one? And I looked up the benefits of grapefruit essential oil and they said that grapefruit essential oil literally helps to uplift the mood. So I highly recommend this, shower, um, this soap for a morning shower. Um, just because it helps to uplift the mood and it's just a great way to start off your day. We also put um, we also put bentonite clay in here, which is another detoxing um, agent. And we also put grapefruit and Himalayan pink salt. So it's good for just drying out impurities and helping to purify the skin as well. And on top of putting you in a good mood. Next, we got lemongrass and patchouli. One of my favorite scent combinations because it's just like that earthy, citrusy type of scent. And then we also put poppy seeds in here. So this is a really good exfoliating soap. Not only that, but lemongrass and patchouli are very deodorizing. Now, um, citrus, all of our citrus scented soaps are gonna be deodorizing. That's one of the good things about citrus. Good for the odors, all right? Next up, we got the 420 Citrus Hemp Soap. It's a 420, it's self-explanatory. This soap is made with hemp oil, which is really, really good for the skin. Very moisturizing, 
this, I know I keep saying like all the soaps are my favorite, but I really mean that because I make them all. I love them all. But this is one of my favorites, okay? So it has, um, it has lemongrass, it has patchouli, it has cedarwood, and it also has rosemary. So this is a medicinal soap as well. Um, somebody told me that they got high off this soap, which I doubt that you will not get high off this soap, just so you know. You're just gonna feel really, really good. You have a natural high off the soap. But we also put um, Moroccan red clay in here, so it's a very creamy soap, very moisturizing. Really good one, I love this one. Last but not least, we got cedar wood and sea clay, um, which we put clay in this soap as well. Like I said, any of the soaps that we use with clay is gonna be detoxing. We also use cedar wood, patchouli, bergamot, and geranium. And just a fun fact for you guys, Quentin actually uh, created this soap. He came out with this soap. He was like, we need something that's more scented, more masculine scented for the guys. And so um, he came up with uh, cedar wood and patchouli. And then I just added a little bit of bergamot and geranium just to kind of balance it out and give it that scent that really smelled good to my nose. So we highly recommend this one for the guys. Um, and just, these are my soap babies right here. I got more. I can't hold them all, but let me try to hold them all. This is all my... Okay, I'm not gonna mess up the soap, but it's all my soap babies right here, all right? Um, and you can use them all full body. You can use them on your face, you can use them on your body, you can use them for your babies, you can use them for your parents. Whatever age, you can use this soap, and we make 15 different varieties, so in case one soap doesn't work for you, you can definitely check out another soap um, that might work for you, an unscented soap or something that's scented that feels good for you. Um, so we make a bunch of different varieties, and I just wanted to let you guys know what we offer and the benefits, how you can use them. Um, so be sure to check out this video if you've got any questions let us know and thank you for joining me for another urban after hours peace